I've talked to you about the causes, I've talked to you about the symptoms, I've talked to you about the physical signs of patients with heart failure, and now that we know what we're talking about, let's talk a little bit about what we can do and what the problems may be. In other words, what investigations would you like to do in someone with heart failure? Well, we certainly would like to take an electrocardiogram or an ECG. May I please remind you that you cannot tell someone is in heart failure by taking an electrocardiogram or by an ECG. An electrocardiogram will assist you. An electrocardiogram will give you a clue. For example, it may show that there is a big left ventricle electrically and there are signs of a big left ventricle electrically, that may give you a clue what sort of a heart disease you're dealing with. Or if there are widespread T-wave changes, and I will come back to you specifically in another talk and talk to you about that, but that may suggest to you that there is underlying coronary artery disease. But an ECG or an electrocardiogram will not show that you're in heart failure nor will take in one of the arterial pulses. The radial pulse, for example, may be perfectly normal in someone with heart failure. They may have a disorder of the heart rhythm, auricular fibrillation, but that can occur in patients without heart failure. So the pulse is useless. 